fall colors are spectacular. Have you ever wondered why leaves change color? We're taking you back to school mm -hmm. now. With the answer to this question and more, it's gardening expert Frank Ferragini. <laughs> School. Okay. And I've completely forgotten the explanation. Okay, so uh, let's just kind of think about what happens during the fall. During the fall, daylight mm -hmm. hours are getting shorter. That's right. So it basically triggers all plant material out there that's time to go to sleep. Yeah. So all of a sudden they stop being active. They start to go into dormancy. And when they're stopping being active, they're not really going through that whole uh, process of what's called photo photosynthesis. You got it. So with photosynthesis, what happens yeah. is chlorophyll is in the leaf. So if you look at this leaf that's here, that's actually changed a little bit of color, mm -hmm. um, and it's already gone into red. What it's missing is the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll mm -hmm. is the green. So as soon as the plant stops to pr producing chlorophyll, that green leaves the leaf, and then the true colors show. Ah. So always those colors are hidden there. Yeah. It's just chlorophyll that's hiding them. So as soon as the daylight hours get shorter, then all of a sudden the true colors will come out and you'll be able to see those vibrant uh, reds, the oranges, mm. the sugar maples that give you all those colors, sumac that give you those colors, service berry that give you all those colors. Yeah. And really that's uh, what fall's all about. It's nature's last hurrah. And it's the time where I want people to go out there and be active and go for a hike and take them all in. That's right. It's actually almost miraculous the way it happens. If you are lucky enough to live in a place where you get to experience the different seasons, mm -hmm. there's something really beautiful um, about seeing that change in the leaves. And it's just, it's an absolutely stunning thing. So you recommend that we get out there in it. Yeah. Uh, you know that we're having an unplugged Thanksgiving, but well, you're yeah. saying no, no. maybe so, bring your phone. Yeah, so when you're going <laughs> out and you're going for a hike, yeah. if you're like my family, mm -hmm. you may get lost. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so having your phone with you if you're going for a hike, especially <laughs> right. in an area you don't know, you can call for help. Yes. Uh, most phones actually have compasses on them. You gotta get that Instagram shot as well. So the fall colors, you gotta make sure that you're like, <laughs> like that as well. Right. And then there's a whole bunch of different field guides that you can download as apps. Okay. One of them is a birding one that I have from Audubon. So if I'm okay. walking through with my kids and I want to identify what that bird is, yeah. I can then go click through and see what that is. There's another one on mushrooms. I can download a field oh. guide on mushrooms. So by doing all those apps, what yeah. I can do is learn more about the forest, get my kids involved, and mm -hmm. we can start to storytell as we're walking through. Okay. Uh, and all those apps are all geo-targeted, meaning that they'll actually know exactly where you live or where you are that moment mm -hmm. and they'll look at the different types of birds and or flora and fauna that are in that area that you can identify with. Okay. So it's a really good thing. That's very interesting. Now one thing you don't want to hear when you're out on a hike with your family is I'm cold. Yeah. Or I didn't I should have brought my gloves. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about And that's when you say too bad. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> We're here now. Sucker. <laughs> yeah. I told you to bring a sweater. Yeah. I told you right? burn off that turkey. Let's talk yeah. about what you should wear for your proper hiking gear. This is not it. No. So when you're going don't for a fall walk. Don't wear a strappy walk, sandal. Yeah. When you're going for a fall walk, what you want to do is dress in layers. Yes. And you can see what I have here. This is a, a windbreaker, but at the same time a raincoat. Mm -hmm. Fall, we typically have greater frequency of rain. Mm -hmm. But as it gets warmer during the day, you can start to peel those layers off. And you can yeah. pull those off to the side. Calm down now. Calm down. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Um, but you can peel those layers off and become more comfortable as you're going. Just to let yeah. you know, a one hour hike is going to burn about 400 calories. Ooh, that's great. Which is really good. And it depends yeah. on the intensity of that walk. Mm -hmm. But it's really the time to get out there and enjoy. There's been studies that have shown, too, by being outdoors in the forest, that's going to improve your mood. And if you're with family during Thanksgiving, you probably need your mood improved. Um, <laughs> and this is without the combination alcohol. Um, yeah, so you want to go out there and, and, and really take in that walk. And yeah. as you go through, you're going to learn a lot about the area that's there. And right across the country and right across the U.S. as well, there's so many great places to take it all in before winter sets in. That's right. I mean, we, we all need to get into the habit of getting outside regularly. And I see a lot of, this is my thing for this year. Yes. I see a lot of families in my neighborhood and after dinner they go and take a walk. Right. So I want to be that family. Yeah. I think it's a great thing. It's not only it's great for digestion, you get away from any, you know, technological urges and you just talking to each other. And my thing is, I don't care if you're fighting or loving, you're together. Right. So do it together as a family and get out of the house and have that walk uh, regardless of the weather. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you a thing. And it's going to make you bond as a family together. Yeah. And by being outdoors, you're going to be able to take some air in. And this mm -hmm. is a time where we're so connected yeah. to disconnect without having your phone in case you get lost right. is a really good thing. Have it in your back pocket. Yeah, you got it. But I think it is really nice to, uh, it does something to your brain, right? It does.